Thanks, everyone. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, we have Erin on phone. She's in transit from another meeting. So I'm going to officiate the meeting, but Erin will hop in uh, periodically and certainly is available yet yeah, this morning. Um, just as a few notes that I know Erin um, shared with all of you, uh, we are um, hosting this meeting publicly today to make the selection for uh, nominations for the executive committee. She included in your memo um, that we have a, a six member executive committee, including the board chair, first vice chair, second vice chair, and three members at large. It has been the um, practice of um, CMAP to include two members from Chicago, two members sub from suburban Cook, and two members from the Collar counties. Um, and then she provided, I won't read them all at this time, um, an outline of what the duties of the executive committee are from the bylaws. Any questions on that? And I forgot already and Blanca reminded me, Blanca, would you be so kind as to read into the record the notification from the governor that authorizes this meeting being held remote? Certainly, as permitted by the governor's disaster declaration of July 23rd, 2021 and public fact, 101-0640, the determination has been made that an in-person meeting is not practical or prudent for the committee. To ensure a transparent and, and open meeting as possible, the meeting agenda was posted one week in advance. A recording of this meeting will be provided and linked on our website and all votes will be taken by roll call. And I will call the roll. Jim Healy? Here. Nina Itamudia? Here. Matt Walsh? Here. Thank you, we have a quorum. Thank you, I always jump in too fast. So um, we're really um, here today to uh, make additional nominations to the executive committee. So with that in mind, I do have the rules from Robert's rules up on my computer, should we require them. But with that in mind, um, I'll uh, wait to hear what your nominations are. Anyone else? Is anyone going to give nominations or <laughs> where are we? Jim? None. You don't have any idea? Okay. No. All right. How are you, Would it Nina? be helpful if I uh, listed off those who are currently members? Sure. Sure. So uh, the current members of um, the num of the executive committee from Chicago are Ann Sheehan. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Erin, I believe the other member is Frank Beal. But it was actually, my apologies, it's storming out, um, but uh, it was uh, Rita Athos that Rita stepped down and, um, you know, theoretically Paul Goodrich is in this position, although Paul has not attended a board meeting to date. The, uh, the other member from the city of Chicago is um, Stephen Schaefer. So the two uh, remaining folks from the city of Chicago that would not have previously been members would be um, Stephen Schaefer and Paul Goodrich. Then from Suburban Cook, you have Mayor Bennett, who has been a member as well as Diane Williams. The um, remaining people there are uh, Mayor Darge, President Ryan Bold, and uh, Matt Walsh is present on this call. And then um, from the Collar Counties, um, the previous members, or current members, are uh, Mayor Noak and Karen Lynn Schofield. And the members that are not a part of the committee from the Collar Counties are uh, maybe Rotaring and Jim Healy, who's on the call today, and President Brawley. And Amy, remind me, are, are, we not, are we doing the whole committee or are we just filling in a couple of um, voids or um, vacancies as far as the executive committee? So um, again, I'll, I'll rely on Aaron to make sure I'm telling the truth here, but it's my understanding that I do rotate members um, as it relates to that. Um, I'll verify with Aaron that that's correct. So um, as practice has been that there, there is availability for um, additional recommendations that aren't currently on. So for example, in the city of Chicago, we would need a, a second recommendation, but. I will say that there has been some stability in the executive committee, um, you know, for a few years and it's a really to members. The chairman has been the chairman for um, since the agency's inception. So we've had stability there. Aaron, I guess my question is, is uh, and I apologize if, if I didn't read the memo close enough. Um, are we are we making nominations for the entire executive committee or are That's we- 
That's correct. The chairman is looking for recommendations from this group for the um, for the executive committee of the board. Well, I'm speak. I'll speak for the Collar counties. We have. I've had nobody contact me regarding any changes. So as long as the two existing members want to continue in their roles, the Collar counties would be happy with that. And I feel the same way about the western suburbs. Uh, so I think my recommendation would be that the current executive committee stay on, provided they all want to stay on. I assume Nina feels the same way, right, Nina? Yes. Uh, with one with one additional question, I guess since there's only one for Chicago so far, we do have to nominate at least one more. Correct. Correct. That is correct. Okay. Um, so there's one vacancy, I guess, for lack of a better term, and that's Rita, right? Is that what it is? Yes. So again, the if you are if your objective is to appoint those who are currently serving, then yes, there's one vacancy. Okay. So I, I think we're all in agreement that we would uh, recommend to the chair that everyone who's currently serving on the executive committee be reappointed. Are we all in agreement on that, Jim? Nina? Yes. So now we have one vacancy to fill, and that would be for the city of Chicago. Amy, who are our options for that vacancy? Uh, Stephen Schaefer and Paul Goodrich. I should note that Frank Beal is also a longstanding member, but he has indicated his is his it is his intent to only serve one more year. So um, we thought it might be a good idea to bring a member on this year to the executive committee just to kind of give them some time to learn that role. So does that mean we have one or two? We just have one, right? You have Stephen Schaefer and Paul Goodrich, but you only have one slot. Gotcha. Nina, do you have any um, thoughts on either one? Um, well, it says that Paul Goodrich is newly appointed. Right. Um, is it, uh, I guess, what is our internal policy about newly appointed members being on the executive committee? Because if it's bad form, then we really only have one person to choose from. Sure. Stefan is also relatively new, I would say, and again, Aaron can correct me if I'm wrong, the last year or so. That's correct. I, I believe he's attended one or two board meetings. You know, so one of the ways that we, that we could um, and have potentially thought about this is that the other position from the city, one, one has historically been um, a city staff member. So for example, um, Anne Sheehan, you know, she had worked in the mayor's office and had been on the executive committee. So at this point, she's no longer with the mayor's office. So, you know, it could be a, um, uh, an opportunity, I guess, to talk with Paul about his, again, should these members accept, um, but to have someone that is a little bit closer to the city than a nominee that isn't with the city to help guide our work. Aaron, let me ask you, does that mean of those two individuals or is there an outside person that you would no, no. It would, so Paul Goodrich is the new, um, is, it took Ann Sheehan's role at the city. So the he is in the chief of staff at the mayor's office. Mm -hmm. so, so I think what we're saying is that the Paul may be a good um, uh, person to fill this spot. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, I think he would be a good person to fill this spot. Um, just in the, just given the fact that he has sort of the relationship with the city as opposed to some of the other appointees, which are private sector um, and not in the mayor's office. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. How about you, Jim? Sounds fine with me. I you would know, leave that up to the Chicago representative. That, okay, so Aaron, that, uh, that works That works for me as well. Uh, you know, if, if Paul if, if Paul is, is open to it, then I, then I would be fine with nominating him. And we can certainly reach out to Paul to confirm, Amy, is that? Absolutely. So I will restate for the purpose of the minutes that uh, Blanca is going to help us with. But um, Matt Walsh, since you were officiating us, uh, with your permission, I would say you've nominated or made the recommendation to nominate the existing members. Um, and the group had a discussion that followed. And there was a nomination to um, nominate Paul Goodrich. And that's the recommendation of this group to the chairman. Is that uh, fair and representative? That is correct. We don't have a, a true chairman, but can I have uh, everyone aye for the record? Aye. Aye. Wonderful. That was easy. Hopefully uh, pain-free too. Mm -hmm. 
Any other questions or business that you feel we need to conduct um, on behalf of the nominating committee of CMAP? I believe we should recommend to the executive committee and the entire board that all salaries of board members be doubled. <laughs> to zero. <laughs> well, it, at least the math is easy, right? Yeah. I do have a, um, a question about, and I'm sorry, because, you know, I'm, I'm new, um, about, you know, for the executive committee, do does, do the staff members really send the current executive committee an email saying, hey, you know, we need to re-up these nominations. Could you express your interest? Is, is that how that works? Yeah. Also, the um, chairman shared at our last meeting that the nominating committee would be um, getting together, and he asked that um, if people had interest to let Aaron or himself know. So um, uh, that was one notification to the board to say, hey, if you're interested, let us know. Mm -hmm. In that comment, I think it was fair to say he also said, if you don't wish to serve, you know, please let us know. And so it's our understanding that the remaining board members do wish to serve. And I know Aaron's had some conversations with them as well, um, but we would confirm with the new member meeting Mr. Goodrich prior to um, finalizing the, the list of nominees. Okay, now I have a, a more complete understanding that we're not just volunteering these people. <laughs> <laughs> but then also, I mean, of course there's, there's uh, presumably something to say about getting new blood on the executive committee. So I also wanted to, to ask if, you know, if anybody else had expressed wanting to actually be on the executive committee that had not already been, but it seems like there was no interest. Um, I don't believe so. I will double check with Erin since she's on the line. Yeah, no, we've received no additional interest from committee members or direct interest, um, but if that changes, we will make folks aware of it. And I'll say just to, given the structure and sort of the spirit of regional collaboration of having, you know, two representatives from the city, two from suburban Cook and two from the Collar counties, there aren't a whole lot of options to, to, to make mm -hmm. the rotation happen all that mm -hmm. frequently, but this is an annual, um, an annual activity for our legislation. Well, Aaron, remind me, we do this every year, right? We rotate people if, uh, if need be every year, right? Yes, the opportunity to rotate happens every year and make a recommendation to the chair. When we all get together in person, get to know each other a little better, we can, we can talk about that next time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure COVID has has made that hard. And, and who knows, in a year, once I get, you know, you know acclimated, maybe I want to volunteer, but it's, it's hard to say. So thank you for entertaining my questions. Yeah, well, and I'll say Nina too, I mean, uh, and also for for uh, Jim Healy's uh, and Matt Walsh's um, information too, we had originally the the um, appointment to the nominating committee was Commissioner Cox, but Nina is taking his position. So therefore she also got tasked with um, sitting in on this. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, thank, thank you, Nina. No problem, I take it in stride. Yes, I think we've, we've had an efficient meeting so far. <laughs> well, now that we've uh, made our nominations and we've doubled our salary, I, uh, I put a motion on the table to conclude our meeting. Is there any other business, Amy? Anything else we have to do or no? There's no other business. Second the motion. All right. All in favor, aye. 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 Great seeing everybody. Hey, are we in person, Aaron, in September? We don't know yet. Probably not, right? Uh, our plan is to be in person in September. Good. At the post office, right? at the old post office. And so we're working on the details for getting folks entered. We actually have badges for most of our board members. So we'll have folks to meet you in the lobby in the day of. And I think we're trying to coordinate some um, tours of the space before and after the meeting in case folks are interested in, in taking advantage. Although Matt, I know you've already been by uh, and seen some of our spaces, but we'd love to have you again. Make sure you get to the rough. It's amazing. So. I have a question. Hmm. You're gonna have badges for us? What badges? Yeah, we don't in the need building. those stinky Sorry. badges. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You don't, Sorry, you don't need a, uh, you know, a, a <coughs> digital card to get yourself in the building. Uh, only Jim and I probably know that's from Blazing Saddles, but I mean, is that Blazing Saddles? Oh, okay, I was like, there's a movie reference there that I'm not understanding. There's actually but... <laughs> several. Casablanca, or actually uh, uh, Treasure of Sierra Madres was first, and then Blazing Saddles. All right. Hey, what is our meeting in September? Just so I can make sure it's in my calendar. I'm sure it is, but it's September, Wednesday, September 8th. Great. Okay. Calendar invite should have been sent to you. No, I'm sure along with the thousand other emails we all get. Oh my God. I, if I get an email, <laughs> I, I just, 
All right, everybody. I think we are adjourned. Great seeing everybody. I'll see you in September. Take care. In Bye. a few weeks. <laughs> September is right around the corner. Bye, Bye everybody. Thank you. Bye.